Afghanistan's military ministry shared photos of seven brand new helicopters arriving in Kabul from the United States on social media around a month ago. The Taliban, on the other hand, had taken the majority of the nation in a couple of weeks, as well as any weapons and equipment left behind by retreating Afghan forces. According to many reports, the Taliban has stolen billions of dollars worth of U.S. armaments. Let's take a look at all the U.S. military equipments that were left behind in Afghanistan. The UH-60 Black Hawk The Afghan Air Force possessed 45 UH-60s as of June 30, with 33 of them classified as usable in the country. Now, it's impossible to say how many UH-60s or other sorts of former Afghan military aircraft the Taliban have taken, but experts and observers have previously identified at least four distinct Blackhawks that look to be under Taliban control. Two of them were at Kandahar's airport. Humvee A Humvee is known for its thundering power, ability to travel anywhere, and capacity to endure many types of weaponry. Now, according to some reports, as many as 20,000 Humvees were left behind in Afghanistan by withdrawing forces. Between 2017 and 2019, the U.S. provided the Afghan military with 4,702 Humvees. Each Humvee costs hundreds of dollars and is responsible for troop movement in a safety and timely manner. Now, these Humvees have been taken over by the Taliban. M923A2 the M923A2 is a 6x6 military truck. The basic cargo versions were designed to transport 4,500 kg cargo load over all terrain in all weather. The speed with which the Taliban swept across Afghanistan is reminiscent of Islamic State militants taking weapons from US. It is not clear how many of these trucks are still in Afghanistan. The M113 the M113 is a fully tracked armored personal carrier which can be fitted with a number of weapon systems. The most common weapon fit is a single 50 caliber M2 machine gun. It costs $170,000 each. This is also now in the hands of the Taliban forces, but it is not sure how many numbers are with them. M577A2 This is a variant of the M113 armored personal carrier. In 2005, the Afghan National Army received 15 second-hand M577A2 vehicles from the U.S. The recent purchases of the M577A2 post-carrier cost $333,333 each. Many of these APCs were also left in Afghanistan. A29 Super Tucano in 2009, the Super Tucano was offered in a U.S. Air Force competition for 100 counterinsurgency aircraft. On 12 April 2010, Brazil signed an agreement that opened negotiations for the acquisition of 200 Super Tucanos by the U.S. In 2013, the U.S. placed an order for 28 29 Super Tucano attack aircraft for $427 million. That's $21.3 million for each plane. This month, the Taliban seized a number of A-29 Super Tucano aircraft. Cessna 208 Caravan The Cessna 208 Caravan is a utility aircraft. In March 2018, the Afghan Air Force ordered seven C-208 light attack planes for $84.6 million or $12.1 million apiece. The planes are highly advanced equipped with Hellfire missiles, anti-tank missiles, and other weapons. Many pilots of the Afghan Air Force made a last-minute escape from Kabul to Tajikistan on an AC-208 moments before the city fell to the Taliban, but some of these aircraft were left in Afghanistan at the hands of the Taliban. Navistar International 7000 The Navistar 7000 series is a line of military heavy-lift vehicles. In 2005, the U.S. Army ordered 2,900-7,000 MV series for the Afghan National Army and Iraqi Ministry of Defense. There are likely many more lost vehicles that have gone uncounted due to not being recorded in photos or videos. There are 141 Navistar International 7,000 medium truck that were confirmed lost in Afghanistan. MD-530F 
It is designed to enhance scout attack, armed escort, and close air attack capabilities of the air forces. The multi-purpose armed helicopter can be deployed in tactical, reconnaissance, and transport operations. Taliban have seized MD-530F light military helicopter at the mazir e sharif airport. The number seized is unknown. Oshkosh ATV mine-resistant vehicle The Oshkosh MATV is a mine-resistant ambush-protected or AMRAP vehicle. Intended to replace Humvee, it is designed to provide the same levels of protection as the larger and heavier previous AMRAPs but with improved mobility. This mine-resistant vehicle ranges from $412,000 to $767,000. The total cost could range between $382 million to $711 million. All of these have now been seized by the Taliban. Fort Ranger Trucks The U.S. military has used Fort Ranger trucks for years. These trucks are outfitted with strong armor and bulletproof glass to keep troops safe. Hundreds of Fort Ranger pickup vehicles were left behind by the military, and there were still over 900 military spec Fort Ranger trucks in the nation, with 877 being captured and 24 being destroyed, according to reports. M24 Sniper Weapon System Referred to as a system, its accessories and attachments help the weapon transform into an eagle eye sniper rifle. M24 is recognized for its ease of use and dependability as well as its affordability and adaptability which give exceptional accuracy. Many of these snipers have been seized by the Taliban. M240 Machine Gun The M240 has been used by the United States Armed Forces since the late 1970s. Though it is heavier than some comparable weapons, it is highly regarded for reliability and standardization among NATO members is a major advantage. M240 models were priced between $6,600 and $9,000 each and many of them were left behind in Afghanistan. M4 Carbine The U.S. contributed at least 3,598 M4 rifles to Afghan security forces between 2017 and 2021. M4 carbine rifles are slightly more expensive with unit prices as high as $1,278. The technology enables the rifle to be outfitted with a laser, grenade launcher, night vision, flashlight, laser mark, and even a miniature shotgun for added lethality. Thousands were left behind by the US, and the Taliban gleefully added them to their stockpile. M18 Assault Rifle the M18 recoilless rifle is a 57mm shoulder-fired, anti-tank recoilless rifle. M18 was a breech-loaded, single-shot, man-portable, crew-served weapon. It could be used in both anti-tank and anti-personnel roles. Thousands of assault weapons have been seized by the Taliban. The M16 The US spent a lot of money on military gear for the Afghan army. According to estimates cited by the BBC, the U.S. sent almost 20,000 M16 rifles to the Afghan military in 2017. According to DLA, the average price of an M16 rifle is $749. The M16's price may rise to $12,032 if a grenade launcher is included. Night Vision Goggles since 2003, the United States have given at least 16,000 night vision goggles to Afghan soldiers. Even while the sights on night vision sniper rifle scopes can cost up to $35,000, the majority of them cost between $5,000 and $10,000. Now, a majority of them are left in Afghanistan at the hands of the Taliban. The Scan Eagle Drone this rapid speed drone has a range of 1,500 kilometers and an endurance of more than 28 hours. According to current procurement reports, each Scan Eagle drone costs over $1.4 million. Even as late as 2021, the Wolfhound's radio monitoring systems received a total of $874,000. Pilatus PC-12 the PC-12 intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance planes are equipped with the most advanced equipment available. It is concerning that these aircraft have fallen into Taliban hands. 
Civilian versions cost around $5 million each, while military planes may cost tens of millions of dollars. MK-19 Grenade Launcher The MK-19 Grenade Launcher is an American 40mm belt-fed automatic grenade launcher. It is a belt-fed, blowback-operated, air-cooled, crew-served, fully automatic weapon. The MK-19 automatic grenade launchers that were fitted on armored vehicles in Afghanistan were all seized by the Taliban's today. While we do not have a comprehensive picture of where every item or defense gear has gone, but a significant quantity of it has ended up in the hands of the Taliban. Anyway, thank you so much for viewing in and do share this video. Thank you.